I cook this for him every other day. Brown rice. Boniana Police Department wants to talk about who should have a dog. Let me tell all of you, the day I met this dog, he wasn't drinking water. And it was me who figured out how to get him to drink water. That he doesn't like Oniana City's water. Stop. Stop, boopy. I know you're hungry. I'm getting there. Please stop yelping. Please stop yelling at me. I figured out he wanted bottled or, or filtered water because he hates the tap water here that tastes like hydrogen peroxide, bleach, and chlorine. And you can smell it. It was me who figured out that this dog has a special dietary need for stuff other than kibble. He literally gets sick every time you just feed him pure kibble. But for some reason, Oneana Police Department officers think they get to say who should be taking care of a dog. When they caused me my panic attack last Friday, this dog saved my life because he loves me, because I love him, because we love each other. I've only known him a little bit over two months. But you guys don't get to judge me. And you should be ashamed of yourself. And I will stand up for this dog each and every time. And I don't care what age anyone is. That child had no excuse. I have learning disabilities I've had my whole life. They're documented. I have emotional disabilities. I've had them since I was a year and a half old after almost seeing my mom get her throat slit by David Molinari, my ex-stepfather the father of my little brother who also screwed him over after mom died. Oneana Police Department officers, if you continue to lack in honor, integrity, and decency, mm -hmm. you are going to get yours. It's not a threat, it's a promise, a legal promise, because it will legally be coming after all of you.